You will use the bank posting process to validate, post, payment receipts that have not been previously posted during payment entry and to validate, post, payments after an automatic remittance has been generated. Let's take a look at validating payment receipts in your system. To post or validate payment receipts, select the Bank Posting function under the APAR Accounting menu. Because this is a batch process, you will be asked for some filtering data to select the criteria to choose. Notice that you can select all companies or just one company. I'm going to select my training company. I can select all sites within that company or narrow down my site. In the selection part, you do have the ability to tr choose what type of transactions to post. Do you want to do bank deposit, which are remittances? Do you want to do paying banks, which would be bank notices? And do you want to do payments, which are payments without deposit slips? You can also select what type of payment type you would like to include in this batch. These are your payment types. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine with all transactions, as well as all entry batches and select all banks and all users and all discounts. In the Generation section, I have the ability to generate entries and create a log file. If the Generate Entries is unchecked, the process when it runs will only create a log file listing all of the transactions or all of the payment types that need to be posted. If I want the actual payment types to be posted, I have to select Generate Entries. The accounting date is the date that gets posted to the General Ledger when the entries are posted. I will select today. The value date is used if I have multi-currency. Once I have all my filtering options set, I go ahead and click OK. It creates a log file with all of the entries that were posted. If there aren't any errors, I can go ahead and close the page. This has posted my remittances and my un posted payments. In this lesson you have learned that the bank posting process is used to validate in mass payment receipts that have not been previously posted and to validate payment receipts after an automatic remittance has been generated.